We're less than 24 hours away from the new Intel Core Ultra chips. I mean, you better have you some deep pockets for right now. I mean, this is... I, every year for the last four years, they just go up, 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 and up. But you better have some deep pockets for this one. All right, we're going to start with the cheapest one, which this is equivalent to your i5, uh, which is the Ultra 5 245K. So um, release date on 1024, 328 dollars the i5 normally shocks me because that's normally where the good, I guess, balances where a lot of gamers go to uh, because it normally is a good gaming chip. I mean, they push out their, their i9 and their i7s, but i5 is actually really, really good for most gamers out there, especially when you're pairing it, say, like the uh, 14600K or 13600K, 12600K. You pair it with like a 3060 Ti or a uh, 4060 Ti, somewhere in there. That's a, a good pairing for a good 14.4 uh, monitor with roughly 200 frames per second. Uh, the next one up is going to be the uh, Ultra 7. Again, release date 1024, uh, which is tomorrow. $400. We're on par right now with what they've been for the last three generations now. This is about what they have been. Uh, I'm really curious. I run a 13700K because the 13900K has the heat issues. And then when the 14 come in, that was just a fill gap. So I wanted to wait for the arrow lake right here. And um, I don't know. Now that they take away hyper threading, I'm, I might be going to AMD for my next build 100%. Uh, we're we're going to see. Um, tomorrow, all the everyone's on embargo lifts. I wish I had something to test, but I don't. Uh, but these are on par with price wise, though. Even like mine, this is roughly what I paid for. I think it was three, uh, four nineteen for my thirteen, uh, seven hundred K, and now six twenty nine. Okay, some of y'all are gonna probably dog me in the comments saying, "Oh, this was a price." Blah 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 blah. No, this actually is not. The twelve and the thirteen, I paid five sixty for mine. That's a pretty big jump right there. And then, look, they're not even being released till tomorrow. People shouldn't even be able to pre-order these damn things until the day that they come out. The only ones that should already have these is content creators and influencers. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. Uh, that Yes, that would put me, you know, if I did have money this year, I would have been, you know, SOL. You know, shit out of luck. Seeing that this is a whole new socket, it's 1851. That means we have new motherboards. And yes, I went ahead and I, I adjusted this to the highest to the lowest, okay? Because the highest, we're going to get the, the most extreme. And if you're buying that the Ultra 9, of course, you're not pairing it with a $100 motherboard. You know, well, even, even if you could find a $100 motherboard. But anyway, you're not sticking with like a B series or, or anything like that. You're sticking with the Z and you want pretty much top tier. So the most one... <laughs> Is is a thousand dollars, which is on par with Asus's extreme uh, models that they have here. I mean, this right here is actually really, really clean looking. I like my white builds, but I tell you what, man, if I had the money right now, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably do this one right here, and uh, I would rock the heck out of it and make me a nice build. Get the custom display on it. Uh, quite a few motherboards are doing that. I mean, I, I'm that's good to see. That's less that we have to. If you think about it, it's less that we have to buy if you like your sensor panel in there. And now you don't have to buy software because it's going to be built into their software. So I, I kind of look at the gigabits one, but but yeah, no, this right here, it is really clean. It's just lacking on the IO shield. For $1,000, you get, what, four, five, five regular USB ports. But that, don't get me wrong, you get your USB-Cs and you also get five of those. We should be able to have at least four Thunder, which I'll show you here in a minute. We should have at least four USB Cs and at least 10 of uh, USBs. Uh, as far as gigabit, everything should be standard 10 gigabit. Don't get me wrong, I don't have 10 gigabit. I'm fixing to actually uh, get five gigabit. So, and my board does, I might have to actually get me a NIC card for mine, but I'm fixing to go up to five gig um, uh, LAN port on mine. But this should be standard. We shouldn't have two of them. If you you just do one, but anyways, that is a clean motherboard for sure. Here's the Maximus, or here's the Apex. Apex is on par. Actually, I believe the Apex last year came out at nine ninety nine. If I'm not mistaken, it was either eight ninety nine. It might eight ninety nine. There we go. 
This one came out at eight nine nine on um, the Z said seven nineties. It looks good. It really does. These features are not for your everyday gamers. That's going to be for sure. Uh, again, for the price, they're lacking on the I/O. But again. These are for people that want to extreme overclock. This is going to be an interesting launch for me, for sure. Uh, I'm ready to see some of these. Uh, once the embargo lifts tomorrow, I'll be sitting here just as well as you are sitting here watching all these uh, these videos of it. Uh, the hero, where's the hero at? Oh, here's the hero. Again, higher than than the last last couple of uh, launches. It's crazy. Strix E. This one here, again, you used to be able to get this board here. This was the mid to high entry. And this was literally the gaming board to have on, what, Z490, Z590, 690, and 790. What else we got here? The Strix A. So let me see if this is one of them. Because this is what I'm kind of liking with some of these. Is this one of them? No. So I like an LED the, the little LED debug, okay? It lets you know what's going on with your system. Look, this right here, yes, is a basically a budget entry gaming overclocking. So it's your gaming but budget overclocking motherboard. You have a start button in here. That way, when you if you have it on a test bench, you can just hit the start button. Man, we need to see, instead of just having little debug lights, we need to have that debug LCD on there to give us our numbers. Uh, th this is just ridiculous that aces can't do this they can they can provide a nice board but for the same price we can go right here to to gigabits and this is what i'm talking about look at that debug light right there that perfecto and that mean that looks clean i mean i really do like that it's just the io is not enough for me on this one that's just it's not enough for me i need more on my io but again i mean you can come down in here uh Here's my version. And this one actually, to me, for my surprise, is actually cheaper than last year. Last year, it came out to uh, 389 I keep saying two. 389 for the uh, Wi-Fi Ed. And basically, if people don't know, this is basically the Carbon. The Carbon just has a couple extra overclocking. Look at this. A, a lot cheaper, the debug light. Now, I would like to see like what Gigabit did and make these uh, the DRAMs white or silver. Would have been nice for it. But man, that's just clean not over the top nothing i mean that is just, that's nice so no very clean board i like it um gigabit has really really come up a lot they're coming up so much that they think that their crap don't stink too here's the aurorus master really nice i mean but looks just like their other stuff at least some of these other companies you know asus and, and msi and stuff they're at least changing certain things up on theirs you know but now look at the io shield <laughs> look at the back io that is that is packed and for what this offers i guarantee you you're going to get more overclocking abilities or you can get more overclocking abilities with this board just as well or if not more than like the the asus strix uh motherboard so what do we got 10 12 usb a's and two thunderbolt uh thunderbolt ports right here and then you got a 10 this is what i'm talking about a 10 gig. You only need one. You don't need two, a 2.5 and a 10. Put that 10 nick in there and you're good to go. I mean, Gigabyte's been doing it right on that. I think that they're a little higher than normal. That's the Elite Ice. But I'm really curious to see how this launch is really going to go. So I'm excited to watch some videos tomorrow to see if, you know, once they're, everyone's embargo lifts and they do these tests, I'm hoping that a lot of them stay true to being honest because a lot of them are going to are going to upsell this chip just so or, or say one or two small little bad things about it just so Intel or MSI whoever sent them their little package of motherboard and cooler and yes I sound jelly I know I sound real jelly and CPUs but just so they push it out better it won't be until 6 7 months down the road when someone else has a problem and someone puts something negative, then a lot of people will actually come back out and say, oh, yeah, this sucks. Intel should have did this. But no, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm ready to, to see what it does. I'm so curious about the hyper-threading. I really believe we, we need hyper-threading until you can make a raw chip that does everything that hyper-threading can. And hopefully this new architect, maybe they can.
leave some comments down below. I'm kind of curious to see what everybody else has to say. And uh, if you're going to get one of these, if, if or if you have this ordered, or if you're ready to go and you already, you know, got yours in, or you get to pick yours up in the morning, when you're going to post your stuff, leave comments down below. Leave your channel. Let, let us know. So let's build a community here. But anyways, I'm Thomas with Thomology. Thank you all for watching.